Ginger with his parents Jim Bob and Michelle, they are different. Ginger Vuolo, new book reveals differences with Duggars, Tater Tot Casserole, Homeschool in a Family Bus, all markers of growing up in the Duggar family home chronicled on TLC's former reality TV series, 19 Kids and Counting. Viewers might also remember the rules of modesty for females and devout religious beliefs that governed the extremely large family from Arkansas. On having a large family, Vuolo said in Chapter 15 she was never the kind of girl who always offered to babysit or asked to hold babies. I was happy to comb my little sister's hair or help my younger siblings with their music lessons, Vuolo wrote. I liked kids, but the thought of having a child of my own made me nervous. How in the world would I take care of a kid 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Ginger and Jeremy are now parents to Felicity too, and Evangeline Joe 5 months. On wearing pants, when Vuolo married Jeremy, a pastor, her world was open to new interpretations of the Bible. I realized that not everyone interpreted different passages of the scripture the way I always had, and I wanted to find out why, she wrote. Growing up, I had a set of standards that I took as givens. Now, as I re-examined and compared them to scripture, my convictions were changing. Vuale divulged that her mom had always dressed girls in skirts and dresses, citing a passage in Deuteronomy that says, a woman shall not wear a man's garment, and modesty was foundational in the Duggar home. I never found a passage specifically forbidding women from wearing pants, she wrote. Once I found certainty from the Bible, my heart was free. I felt no inner conflict as I started wearing pants for the first time, she wrote. I felt emotional as I worried that my parents would think I didn't appreciate how I was raised. On Religious Guilt, the star of TLC's Counting On, said that after she gave birth to her first daughter, Felicity, she battled tremendous guilt. I'd enjoyed spending time in the Bible since I developed a hunger for it at 14, she wrote, now, I was so exhausted that if I had a free moment, all I wanted to do was sleep. I shouldn't be taking a nap, a voice nagged at me. I should be reading the Bible. Vuolo shared that she felt like she was failing, because she could not focus her heart on Christ, in the way she was able to before the birth of her daughter. She credits her husband, Jeremy, who reassured her it was okay to nap and there was nothing to feel guilty about. I learned that I could delight in the Lord simply by cuddling my baby, folding laundry, making dinner, or doing any of the tasks I normally would do as a wife and mother. On J Names, one tradition the Volos are not carrying on? J Names. Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar gave all of the 19 children a name that begins with the letter, J, we never considered naming her with a J name, Jeremy revealed especially since all the good names were taken by Ginger's family. Basically the only names left were Jezebel and Judas. And yes, that is a terrible dad joke. Ginger Vuolo is not the only sibling to find her own path after leaving the Duggar household. Earlier this year, sister, Jill, revealed she has not visited her parents' house in recent years. We haven't actually been over there in a while, probably, like, a couple years, other than once. Like, to check the mail, Dillard said in a video alongside her husband, Derek. Following older brother Josh Duggar's arrest on April 30, 2020 on charges related to child sex abuse images, the Volos were the first to speak out, posting identical statements to social media. We are disturbed to hear of the charges against Josh, the Volos said. 